This video is brought to you by the Fast Track to Deployment Property Adjuster Certification by Adjuster TV. Get priority onboarding and deployments from the biggest and best firms in the industry at adjustertv.com slash certify. In this video, part of a brand new series from Adjuster TV called The Rules for Adjusting, learn rule number one, who actually is your customer when you're working claims, starting now. You're watching Adjuster TV, adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. Hey, Matt here, and welcome to Adjuster TV, where I share my more than 20 years of experience as a cat property IA to help you build a rewarding career as an independent adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. Rule number one. Everybody is your customer. If you've been watching Adjuster TV for a while, you've probably figured out that I tend to go against the grain on a few things. I like to close files on site. I send insureds to voicemail. I don't rely on drones or apps or other gadgets to run claims and so on. But probably the most controversial thing I say is that I never argue with contractors. I don't fight with them. I'm not rude to them. I don't give them the cold shoulder. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm as friendly with them as I am the homeowner. I learned early on in my career that just because I might be in an adversarial role versus a restoration contractor, that doesn't mean that everything needs to be a fight. I figured out that if I led with kindness, respect, and friendliness with anyone and everyone, that my phone calls and field inspection meetings went way smoother. While they still happened every once in a blue moon, contentious meetings with roofers became extremely rare. When I figured this out, I decided that I needed to create a new rule for myself whether I was working or not. And that rule is everybody is my customer. And when I say everybody, I don't mean just people that I consider to be allies, like my manager, the agent, the carrier cat team, and so on. I mean everybody. Roofers, public adjusters, water mint guys, attorneys, carrier QA, doesn't matter. And here are the reasons why this works. If I lead with friendliness in a roofer meeting, even if it's the biggest storm chaser in the country, it sets the tone of the meeting and it makes it hard for the other guy to start acting like an ass. Just like in many things, the first guy to lose his cool is usually the loser and the insured is watching. Storm chasers suddenly become my buddy and my advocate in doing this, storm chasers suddenly become my buddy and my advocate on subsequent roof claims. If I say, yeah, man, you know, I really want to buy this roof, but I'm just not seeing it. You know, I have to prove the loss, whether I'm saying that it's totaled or, there, or there's no damage. And I have to show that in my photos and it's it's just not here. And honestly, this, this neighborhood for us has been kind of hit and miss for totaled roofs. But have you guys been over to the Elks Landing neighborhood by chance? No? Well, I'm totaling everything I walk on over there and I haven't really seen many contractor signs and yards yet. So maybe you guys will have better luck with adjusters over there. The next time I see that guy on a roof in a fringe area, and honestly, all summer long in any area, he's like, hey bro, listen, thanks for the tip on Elks Landing. So on uh, this one, bro, uh, we know this area was lightly hit, but we thought maybe there was you know, enough on it, but, but we didn't say anything to insure one way or the other or anything. We just, you know, whatever you say was cool with us. I can't tell you how many times I've had that exact conversation. And you know, we'll look at that roof that we're on, and if I can total it, I will. If not, we're smiling and shaking hands, and he's backing me up when we explain it to the insured. And the third reason, if I'm on a big hailstorm with tons of storm chasers, looking at you, Minneapolis, or a big hurricane in New York City where everybody has a public adjuster or an attorney, then my stress level drops to near zero. I know that I have a secret weapon in my pocket that will disarm any potential rough treatment from the other guy. Just be a nice dude and not let myself get dragged down into the mud. So how does this work? Basically, you just think about others first. You don't hold a grudge and you don't take anything personally. Remember, that guy you're meeting on the roof doesn't get paid at all unless you total that roof. He may have a lot of pressure put on him from his bosses and his family and himself to close sales. On the contractor side, there are zero guarantees. As the adjuster, I get paid just for showing up. So think a little bit about that guy's situation when he started to have a come apart in the insured's front yard. It's not about you, so don't take it personally and don't let it affect the next meeting that you're probably going to have with him or any other roofer, you know, because they're all crooks. Rule number one. 
everybody is your customer. And don't forget, the doors to the Fast Track to Deployment Property Adjuster Certification close on September 14th. If you're ready to get moved to the front of the line at my partner firms, including Pilot Catastrophe, Alacrity Solutions, Sedgwick, CCMS and Associates, Paysetter Claim Service, and Crawford and Company, let me train you and personally certify that you know what you're doing. Here's what a couple of my students have to say about the program. Ace says, getting to actually process a claim from A to Z and having live classes and weekly chats has made the workflow of an adjuster seem easy to follow. I'm connecting the dots now. And Laramie says, this class has strengthened my understanding of the claims process and I've utilized the tips and tricks, especially in my written estimates. I know that aspect of my service has improved because of this class. Enroll right now at adjustertv.com slash certify. And if you got a little value from this video, please subscribe to Adjuster TV and hit the old like button. Believe it or not, those things really do help Adjuster TV grow. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV, it's all in the wrist.